Hey loves, this is part three. Okay, so the Lord wants you to be tolerant and patient with your kingdom spouse. He needs you to understand that they have flaws, they have character, um, some things in their character that he's still working on. So don't expect perfection. Perfection, God is perfect, Jesus is perfect, the Holy Spirit is perfect, not your kingdom spouse. Yes, they're going to love you, they're going to make you feel so good, there are going to be so many amazing things about this person. You're going to be like, wow, I, didn't, I can't imagine, I can't believe how amazing this person is and how good it gets to be. Like as in, wow, we really click, we get on so well, we do amazing things together. Um, they complete me, You like in some way, shape or form, you're going to feel like they complete you and you complete them. And you're going to help each other with your, your flaws and um, they're going to build you up, you're going to build them up. Where you're weak, they're strong, where they're strong, you're weak and things like that. Um, so you're going to help, like basically, you're going to be able to help each other. I think I said something wrong there. I think I said like, <laughs> but yeah, I think you got what I meant. Like, so, you know, where you're weak, they'll be strong. And where you are weak, oh, whatever. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, the point I'm making is you're really meeting someone that's going to help you. There are so many things that you've been struggling with or suffering with that when you meet this person, you're going to be like, God, why didn't you send them five years ago? Like I went through all this. And you're going to be like, oh my God, they've just lifted so many burdens. They've solved the problems. They've solved the mysteries. And, um, oh, you know, you didn't understand why you, like, it could be something like insomnia, you have insomnia. And it's like, oh, like the tips they give you, it's like, oh my God, the insomnia, the, the insomnia is gone. Or maybe you have insomnia and their, their cuddles that they give you when you're married, their cuddles have healed the insomnia. Like, as in, it's like, oh my goodness, I didn't know just cuddling my wife or cuddling my husband was going to just get rid of the insomnia. Like now I can sleep like a baby. Um, for some of you, it could be business opportunities that they help you. They give you advice. It could be to do with, um, you know, maybe like, maybe they have a car and you don't. So they're going to, you know, let you drive their car. Or it could be uh, they're going to help you in your career. It could be you're going to help them in in terms of um, their dreams that they've never gone for before. So a dream, their dream to write a book or their dream to become a pilot or whatever it is. There are some dreams that God has put in you that only that kingdom spouse can bring out. That gift. They're going to be there to support you in a way that nobody else can. Especially when you marry your God-ordained kingdom spouse. So whatever the Lord asks you to do, be willing to do it. To receive your promise. Be humble and be willing and you know one thing you've got to realize is not everyone's going to be for you so stop telling everyone your business and tell the lord and let him lead you god bless you all